All right, here we are, starting, uh, you know, the four win run. Uh, we're going to see if I can win this next round. And if it again gives me the lose or try again round. So I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I am interested, intrigued even. Uh, that card. It's too early. Okay. That's better. A little bit of a trick. Watch me pop you for one in the face. Oh, never mind. We're good. Save them one damage having that card. Please play something pre-combat. Oh, you're the best. Thank you. What does this do? When you summon an ephemeral ally, grant it plus two. That's a really, like two, three is a great stat line for two mana. Um, is that, a, is the spider wing ephemeral? It is not. All right, well, uh, this does no damage to me and this puts the most damage on him. It is unfortunate, but I am gonna have to play a little bit uh, tighter. And I'm not sure how much of a problem this card's gonna be. So, let's shove first. I'm doing it in combat to prevent a slow spell from dealing with it. Like, I just wanted to take away as much of his turn as possible. Um, I know I've given a little bit of tempo. He can now slam something on his turn that I might not be able to interact with. But uh, when you have that kind of terror, grant an ally ephemeral and reduce its cost by one. Yeah, like, I, I, I stand by my decision almost wholeheartedly. Uh, I can't rush Shadow Shift. Uh, I don't think that's going to do anything for me. Will I take this trade? No. Oh, it's the Soul Shepherd. Damn it. Um, so... Yes. But just to block that guy. So he has two mana left. So if whatever that ephemeral card was... Unleash three Unleash Spirits. I don't like this at all. I don't like what you're doing. I'm, I was right to do that, though. Like, the terror in me. Um, I will also play that card. And take that even money trade. If I'm, oh, the shark? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-ohs. Full swing, right? All right, well. This has to happen, and this kind of has to happen. But I could take six here, right? Like, that's not that big of a deal. I am terrified to see the Hecarim come down, because there ain't no world where this guy doesn't have a Hecarim in his deck. Hecarim will just carry this entire fight. Uh, pass? Like, he is totally playing off the top of his deck. He, doesn't, he can't do it. He's not blocking, right? There is a chance that this this cavalry is just good enough. Like, just a 6-6. Six, six. Like, that's why I tempoed that 3-mana uh, that 1-1 one, one out. Like, this 6-6 six, six might just be good enough. Um, but I'm going to see if he plays anything pre-combat, and if not, I'm going to slam this Karma. I do not believe he has any way to kill Karma in one card. So I'll just kind of free farm free spells. Grant allies in hand, plus two, plus oh. Is that forever? It is. Cool. I will take that. And plus one, plus oh, sorry. Mm, there's Hecarim. 
Remember when I was like, this guy totally has Hecarim? It's because that guy totally had Hecarim. What is this? Summon two Spectral Riders? Uh, sure. I just have to survive this turn. Like, all I have to do is survive. He cannot swing with Hecarim. Uh, he can. I'm not going to stop him. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, well. Good news is... Uh, this sucks. The bad news is... Um, am I dead? Am I just dead? <sighs> that was... Wow. That was living the dream. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to let you. You're, you don't get the damage points in. That was absolutely amazing. I saw it coming. Like, it had to be Hecarim. It had to be exactly that. Uh, I needed to just survive this turn. And it turns out it's very hard to just survive the turn when you have everything. Ah, oh, sigh. All right, am I trading the guy who... Oh, see, like... I don't know. I don't need another Bright Steel for that guy. I don't need another one of these. I mean, like, Bright Steel is still a two-mana early play. I think this card might be a little better, but... You know, I'm really looking to trade some of my weaker minions for spells, not for minions. Okay, so I can't ever prove my point. Uh, of if I win, because I don't remember it being like that, but we'll find out real quick uh, what happens when I lose two in a row. Hasn't happened yet. Uh, we don't need two one-drops, but this is a good enough one-drop to keep early. Well, what is that? That's a 3-2 that can't block. Here's a 2-2 that can. I will take the trade. Hopefully he gets tilted and just quits. Like, he might just be like, well, there's no way, right? Yeah, no, I'll take it. Like, there's a world where I draw a card to play next turn. Good world. Yeah. It's a two mana three two that has more text in like the late game. But early on it's just oh wow. Cool. Take the trades. I want him to think I'm the control I'm the aggro player. Which I'm very clearly not the aggro player. Hmm. That is a good card. Are we pre-combating anything? Yeah, we're totally pre-combating. Because if he plays something, I'm just going to yank it. There's a world where he has a four drop that completely blows me out here. I'm just choosing to assume he doesn't he doesn't live in that world. I'm still not over that hacker room. That's a four three that gives him barrier. Dope. I am gonna eat him. I'm not putting one damage on my character. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. No, we're fine. I'm okay. Oh, no matter what happens, I'm happy this turn.
Like we are we are slamming something down. What is that? Uh was that a five four? Sure. Five five. Let's go. Come in. We're the aggro decks, right? It? All right, so this is the first time he hasn't been able to, like, just dump his hand on turn one. Um, and I can't fully take advantage of this, so I'm going to attack? I can do this. I can get away with this. Uh, I might be able to debate a, a something out of him. I have the ability to like, if he's trying to use a combat trick, I could combat trick first. Uh, I don't need to put anything on the board. That doesn't accomplish any task for you. That does accomplish a task for you. Okay. Him here? Okay. No notes. I'm okay with what you've done. I'm trying to set up a situation where this single combat nukes this guy right now. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Wait, I don't have the ability to do fast spell in response to that? That's unfortunate. Uh, I guess I'll just play Do I play Garen or do I play Karma? I need spells or do I need booty sweat? I'll play Garen. I thought I would have the opportunity to do that in response, but I guess that's only burst. What is it? What is this? Give allies challenger this round? That's. That was your round. What? I'll take the blocks. Yep, there it is. Thank you. What is that doing? Plus three plus zero to kill my Garen. Interesting. This entire time, you didn't realize I don't respect Garen at all. Is that another one? Recall a unit. Okay. That was kind of blowouty, except that it wasn't. Hmm. Yeah. Uh... I'll let you get stuff in the board, free combat. I'm a big man. That's rough. Um, Alright, so... If I play this... 
I have a chump walker for next turn, and this guy gets a little stronger. So I'm going to do that. Like, I'm not, I'm not swinging in, so I don't really need to do anything. I could just pop you in the face. I guess I could have killed this guy, but, like, for what reason? If I leave him out, he becomes a little bit more likely to make a bad decision. See, that's not... I don't like that. I'm trying to figure out if I want to pre-combat derp him. Um, if he's right, yeah. So he's going to yank that there. And he's going to put the seven drop there. And then he shouldn't attack with anything else. All right. All right, so I hear you, right? Um, what I'm going to do is this and that and not care about what else you do. And then, I'm going to play a Karma. Yeah, that's fine. And now we're good. Let's see if I get a decent spell. Fully heal an ally, then double its power and health. Is that a burst spell? that you just slam this 2020 down you're gonna eat this and we're good who's going in front of the 2020 good move Well, that doesn't matter. Ah, it's okay. Fiora? That card's great. Uh, we'll play Sephiroth. Yeah. some bad news for you, buddy. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and stun those two guys.
but he can't block. Okay. All right, I'm not really liking what's going on here, which is the uh, I'm losing a fight and then I'm winning a fight. I'm cool with the fact that I'm winning fights. I'm not happy that the loss is coming first. Uh, it's becoming slightly painful to experience this repetitively. Um, so let me just pick the last part for the next fight. Trade the one mana 2-2 for a card I'm never going to use. Nope. What does Senna do? First time an ally Lucian dies. That does not happen, so I can't look at it. Uh, yeah, I'm just not getting anything worth trading, unfortunately. Like, I kind of like all these cards. So we'll skip the trade. Uh, so we are five of seven wins, even though we've taken, like, I guess, one, two, three losses. Um, and that's pretty much interesting because it's letting me make more videos and showing you different styles of gameplay and criticisms or critiques of the decks. Also, letting you see decks like if you see Hecarim, take Hecarim. It's a great strategy. I highly advise it. Uh, um, but we only have two more fights left. Hopefully, if I do the next fight, uh, I win, and then I just go to the last fight. Uh, but the next video, we'll talk more about that. So thanks, guys, for hanging out, and I'll catch you later. Be good.